Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Microsoft Access database with the data grid view or table in C Sharp. So suppose you want to fetch all the values from the database and you want to show it in your Windows Form application in the form of a table. How can you do it? I will show you in this video. So I will go to the toolbox and I will drag and drop this tool called data grid view, which will hold our value in our in the ta tabular form right and then I will uh, go to the toolbox and I will drag and drop a button here this button will help us to load the table right then I will change the name of this um, button as btn underscore load table for example and I will also change the text of this button as load table okay now what I am going to do is I will just double click this button and what this button will do is it will load uh, the data in the table right so I will double click this button and I will use the, the skeleton of the code I have been using in this last videos which is uh, this one and I will also explain uh, this uh, code briefly and if you don't still understand this code just watch the last videos okay so in this code what I'm doing is I'm writing the try, try catch blog which will catch any exception or error if uh, any exception or error occur during the execution of uh, this uh, database connection and database uh, command code and in the first line of this uh, try block, I am opening the connection with the database. And this connection is a OLEDB uh, connection object which we have created in the last videos, right? And then in the next line, we prepare our command. So we declare an uh, object of uh, OLEDB command. And this is our command object. And then we give this command the connection. So this connection is given to this command and in the next line we prepare our query right now it's blank but we will uh, make our query in a moment and then we pass our query to this command right now in in the last line whenever you open the code or open the connection with the database you need to close it and in between I will write the code to connect uh, this database to the data grid view so let's see how we can do it so what we need for connecting uh, the uh, database value to the da data grid view is a uh, OLEDB adopter which will help us to fill the uh, data grid view so I will write OLEDB data adopter and I will name it as uh, DA for example is equal to new OLEDB data adopter and as an argument of this uh, OLEDB adopter constructor I will just pass my command object here which is this one right okay now in the next line what I'm going to do is I will declare a data table so I will write data table and I will name this uh, object as dt is equal to new data table. Okay, and this data table we will fill it with the values or uh, this data adopter. So we will write first of all this data adopter dot fill and then we will pass this dt or data table object here okay and, and then in the next line what we are going to do is we will just copy the name of our data grid view which is data grid view 1 then we will say data grid view 1 dot data source is equal to whatever uh, data table we have okay so 
these are the uh, uh, these are the four lines we need to uh, connect we, we need to connect uh, our database to the data grid view in c sharp now let's write the query first so let's see uh, what uh, database i have and on the basis of that we will write the query okay so suppose we want to fetch all the values from this database which we have uh, which i am using in uh, this uh, demo and we have this data table called employee data and we want to show all the columns eid first name last name username password and all the columns then it's simple we just need to pass select asterisk or star from your table name so my table name is employee data right so i'll write employee data okay now let's run the code and let's check if it works or not or let me just close this because it may cause the connection conflict and now our form is running i'll give the username and password and we reach to the second form right now when i click this load table button it is supposed to uh, load all the values from the database here and you see here all the values from the database is loaded in this data grid view and you can uh, match it with your database values also so i will open this once again open and you see here you have employee id first name not last name and the other values so for example i have username password and date of birth country and phone number and pay but in some situation for example you don't want to show username and password in the table or you don't even want to show the phone numbers then how can you show only uh, employee id first name last name and pay for example so for that you need to change the query instead of this asterisk select asterisk you need to give uh, the column names so just give the column name for example eid uh, i just need to close my form so i will write select eid which is my table column name right eid right then i will uh, take first name last name and pay so comma first name comma last name comma pay these are all the column names in the database right and now when i run the program let me close this first and when i run the program and we will go to the next form and when i click this we only have these four column values okay so in this way you can filter your columns from the database which you want to show in this data grid view okay and this even shows the title of uh, your uh, table columns so in this way you can uh, connect the data grid view with the access database uh, values i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now